What's happening, Madden Sites? The Black Kryptonian is back. The Black Viking is back. Thor's Moorish counterpart returns. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about myself. So, uh, this is this video is basically to catch up the new subscribers and to show the longtime subscribers a couple of things. First off, some people ask me, they're like, why do you call yourself the Black Viking? Well, first of all, because I do workout videos from time to time, I always started out calling myself a gym savage, okay? Because, you know, you attack the weights, you're just a fucking animal in the gym. So that's part of my sayings. I just don't say it much because I don't do a lot of workout videos. I'm the black tiger in the gym, too, because I'm ferocious. But... So the Viking parts kind of started to come from the savage thing, but what happened was I did a, a genealogy test, an ancestry test on ancestry.com. And when I got my results back and I did a video about it, I found out that the majority of my blood was Nigerian first, then Ghana. And then the European part was Scandinavian. And I was like, shit, I should start calling myself the Black Viking. Yeah, that'll work. You know what I'm saying? So that's the reason why I call myself that. And the funny thing about it is all the uh, haters came to the video and was like, man, these black people get all excited when they find out that they got white blood in them. I wasn't excited to find out that I had European blood. I was excited to find out what my roots truly were. First Nigerian, then Ghana, and then Scandinavian in that fucking order. I think it's cool to have all the blood in me, okay? Um, how it guided me is another uh, idea. You know, that, that's another story. I know that um, I have a few... Uh, Irish relatives in the past, and um, I know that I have some Italian relatives, okay? So that, I'm sure, contributes. One person has said he's happy the fact that his ancestors were raped by the white. I don't know if my bloodline that I come from was exactly raped, but that's not the thing. The thing that I was proud to find out as an African-American, because we never really know where our blood comes from, I was glad to find out finally where my blood comes from. Finally, I know what I am. And I'm actually gonna do another test soon that's more expensive that can actually help pinpoint the, the African tribe that my blood comes from. So I'm gonna be doing that soon. Um, but I wanted to show y'all my Viking ring. You see that? See that? Can you see it? See it? It's a horse. And it's got a ruby eye. And this was given to me by a rich man with Scandinavian blood. I used to run into him all the time at the club. And he was the funniest dude in the world. He had his own dance. He had his own dance. He didn't give a fuck who was watching him. Or what? And over the years of going to the club, found out what his name was, at least what his nickname was, and found out kind of who he worked for, a little bit about his past. People were like, yeah, the man's wealthy. He does good. And he had a thing for me and Sarah, specifically Sarah. He absolutely loved her. He thought she was so beautiful. He would always call her an angel. He just loved her. He would come by, he, and he was older, and I never, you know, he never danced with her. He never touched her in the wrong way. One time I saw him, like, um, he was just like, oh, she's so beautiful. He, like, he grabbed her face like that, like, that was it. But one day we ran into him while we were in the mall. And he talked to us, he told us about himself, you know, he'd been to war and all these other things. And how he started dancing by himself because the majority of the time he would dance by himself but women would always come to dance with him because he was unique and uh, he said this woman told me one time and i forgot who she was but she was significant she told him she said you don't worry about pulling the women you know you go and you 
to Cubs and you dance by yourself and they will come to you. And he said she was right. He talked to us for almost a half hour, 45 minutes. And he said, I want to give this to you. He said, this is solid silver. This is a ruby. This is yours. You are my honorary Viking. This was all before I found out that I actually had Scandinavian blood. But I thought that was really nice of him to give me this gift. And I hardly ever wear it. I actually kept it um, where I, I have you know, a couple of chains and a watch and stuff. And I think I'm going to get it polished up one of these days and, uh, you know, rock it out. You know, because I think it is kind of cool, you know, that he told me I was honorary and then to find out that part of my blood actually was. And um, I am just as fine with that blood as I am proud about my Nigerian blood and Ghanaian blood. So don't get it fucking twisted. I'm proud of who I am. I'm a black man first and foremost, okay? But the fact that I've sprinkled European blood in me does not bother me, all right? So that's a little bit of a walk down memory lane with me. Y'all know a little bit more about me. So now I got my viking ring to go with my dark Mjolnir. Where, where are you at Mjolnir? Mm. There we go. They almost kind of match. You see the markings on the um, on, on the hammer? Look at the uh, uh fuck. Uh, let's try to get this off. You see that? The markings on the side of the ring? See that? It's fucking cool man. Oh, well, that was the nicest thing. I was like, wow. Gave me just expensive-ass piece of jewelry. That was really cool of me. But anyway, y'all, just wanted to tell y'all a little bit about it and why. And now you know. And no one's half the battle. Yo, Joe. One million subscribers. Woo!